By the miracle of science, we should be joined on the phone by Will. No? Hello, Chris. Hello, Will. How are you? I'm all right. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at Excel. OK. And, um... Well, look, I'll, ju I'll just report what I've found, and you, you, you'd you say, if, if you want anything ex explained a bit more or whatever. Um, OK. Jay you know needs to plugging headphones in. Yeah. Oh, all right, OK. Well, look, okay. The, the, the a couple of things I've found on the way. Um, that mysterious footpath that go goes at a sort of right angle to where we were when we were here for bet. Yeah. It seems to connect up with footpaths. I don't know if you could get to the River Lee along that route. Um, I'm going to explore it a bit more later on. Okay. And see, because one of the things I find about London, it's not as, it's not as friendly for walking around as, as Exeter no. is. Jay, uh, hold on, yeah. hold on, Will. I can hear. Okay, JD can hear you as well. Yeah, we put the oh, good, out for me. good. Yeah. JD, there is a yacht. You'll be glad to know. Right. I tell you, can he can he say anything? Um. No, yeah. don't worry. Yeah, he can say things now. I can say things right now. Oh, J <laughs> JT, you'll, you'll be glad to know there's a very large yacht. There is there? So, Are you yeah, going to bring it home so, with you? No, I can't bring it home with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think once we, once we know what Yacht Disco is, yeah. we could propose that there is the International Yacht Disco Show or something like that. Yeah, well, that um, is very disappointing. You should bring the yacht home just yes. for JD. I, I want a yacht. Well, <laughs> well look, later, later on, I'll, I'll try and find out who controls the yacht, and I'll invite them. I don't think we'd get it in the X because of all the sand at Exmouth. I think it's very difficult to get past the sand. But yeah, I think it could it could probably go to Torquay or Falmouth or yeah, somewhere just, like that. Just hook it on the back of the train and bring it back. Okay. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try that. Yeah, uh, but other than, other than that, I'm sure the yacht could make a, a voyage in the summertime. Okay, especially uh, if we've worked out what yacht disco is. Yeah, and um, we still haven't. We still haven't found it. that out yet. And I think no, it, but that's that, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's a detail, JD. That's just a detail. Oh, I see. It's just a um, a fish out of water. <laughs> yeah, something like that. We, we can work that out later. Mm hmm Good. But I've got two two um, immediate things that I've found, found so far. Um, LinkedIn is here, LinkedIn Learning. And um, you know that I have written a, a story for them about Thursday's radio being much the same as Wednesday's, and next week will be even more similar. But yeah. we'll see whether that's true. I, I think, really, each show is a little bit better, a little bit more informed than the previous one and sometimes yeah. mistakes are corrected and so forth yeah I do agree it, with that so it's well worth listening even if some of it does seem familiar yeah that is very true but the, the thing which LinkedIn are doing here they, they, they're doing surveys and I've, I find this quite quite interesting they they seem to think all the techie stuff is sorted um, learning and development people have low priority for skills in mobile computing, engineering and coding, and cloud computing. All those things, they think they've got quite enough skills in those areas, whereas the ones they're worried about are leadership and management, creative problem solving and design thinking, and communication. Well, the communication, so I'm, I'm not, I think the communication is the, bit, is the main one. You would put that at the top. I would do, because without that, you wouldn't be able to do the radio and what have you. No, that's true. Yes, so you've got to communicate. Yeah. And you think that's a soft skill? It's not a technology thing? No, that's that's something you're born with. <laughs> you're, you're born with and you pick it up as you go along. Ah, oh. Yes, yeah, so, so you, 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 think back to the, you, you think back to the early days of you on the radio... 
and um, yeah. you had to change your style for that particular uh, program or whatever it is. So you learn it as you yeah. go along. So it's not something that the training department could take care of, really. No, you don't. You don't have a, a an app for that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, I'll I'll put that thought to whoever I meet who's trying to um, offer a, a, some sort of facility for communication development or whatever. Mm -hmm. What about the other ones, JT? Um, design thinking. Design you, thinking. Any... Okay. Well, I think everybody. Goes <laughs> goes around every day designing things, yeah. In 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 their own sort of special way. So your yeah. your your line of designing is different to mine, and same with Chris. Yeah. We all have different views of how yes. the information we want to take on. Yes. So it is there. Mhm. Mm um, it just needs a bit of um, it's encouragement. Bit, let's say. I think guidance is the word. Gu guidance. Yes, you need. You need okay. guidance. So when you go to school, you see, you you, you have a, a childlike view, <laughs> and then <laughs> when you come out again, hopefully you 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 become a, a an adult. So in that space of time, you have to have a complete view. R right. <laughs> right. So the education should should be supporting this sort of thing. Yes, it should be for the times, not from. You know, when I was at school, we learned things which I've never, 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 never used. OK, I can remember it, but I've never used it. So it's... <laughs> I, <laughs> I probably won't never, 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 never use it. <laughs> so you have to do things which are of, of the today's, you know, world, shall we say. Right. Right. And then, can I ask Chris about leadership and management? You can, I think. Yes, you... Because he... What do you reckon, Chris? Do you think we have enough management on the show? I'm a very good manager, though. Do you this do is true. think he is? <laughs> well, I have come to my forefront this morning, I must admit. Oh. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to wait for the pay rise. Oh, well, look, OK. <laughs> well, look, you, JD, you, you, you sort out the pay rise. I will, I will, yes, I'll put the bill in. <laughs> and I'll see what else I can find. <laughs> and um, I'll, I'll, I'll phone again about about half past eleven. Yes, that's fine. Yes, Is that kind of suit. Yes, we will be waiting with bated breath. <laughs> that's what okay. You say. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Speak later. Okay. Okay. Well, well thank you, Will. Bye uh, for now. Bye. Speak to you soon. <laughs>